Welcome to Emilac Online Tutorial. Now in this video we're going to prove that the y dx equals u dv dx plus v du dx from y equals u v. And this is called the product rule. Okay, and it implies that uh, u is a function of I mean, sorry, y is a function of u and v, which is also a function of what x. All right. So, using the first principle, now here we have that y equals u then v. All right. Now, according to the first principle, there is a change. You know, when we add uh, uh, a small change to all the variables here. So here we have that y equals the change in y, then equals u plus change in u, now into v plus change in v. All right. Now the next step here is to make change in y the sort of relation, and which implies that we're going to take y over to the right hand side, and when it happens, y becomes negative at the right hand side. So here we have change in y equals u plus d change in u now open bracket v plus change in v close bracket minus y and take note that from the beginning y equals the product of u and v so let us plug in u v for y in this uh, expression your equation so change in y equals u plus change in u now v plus change in v then minus u v now if i to open the bracket here we are changing y equals u v all right now plus u change in v now plus now say v change in u now plus change in u change in v then minus u v now take note that this is u times v will give us u v u times uh, change in v will give us u change in v change in u times v will give us v change in u and change in u times change in v will give us change in v and here we have minus u v now if you look, you look at it you can see we have the same term here from the beginning the beginning and this so which implies that u v minus u v so we can eliminate so we are left with what changing the uh, y equals u changing v now plus v changing u plus uh changing u changing v all right so at this point now we we'll need to divide through by change in x so here we have change in x now change in x changing x and changing x all right so at this point now as change in x tends to zero now change in y over change in x becomes dy over dx now in the same vein change in v all over change in x uh, becomes dv all over dx uh, change in uh, u over change in x becomes du over dx and at this point also uh, change in u becomes what zero and which other one am i one two v all right so at this point here we can now see that dy dx now equals u now changing changing v over changing s becomes what dv dx so dv dx now plus now v now i changing u to changing s becomes what du over dx now since the u here becomes tends to zero means this whole expression here becomes zero so we are left with uh, the final equation all right which gives us the product rule 
in uh, differential calculus. Alright, if you love what I've just done, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and then show you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in physics and mathematics. Thank you and God bless you.